Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalope. Today we're going to bring you a gameplay of Stalker, the board game. Now this is a sponsored gameplay in collaboration with Awaken Realms, who currently has a game found campaign going on. Please check that link below, take a look at that campaign, and if it makes sense to you, do the thing you do. The fray and the fridge. The warehouse is still a few hundred steps away, but we can already hear something huge and deadly moving inside. Some say there could be snorks around, and besides, we are not the only crew interested in what that warehouse is hiding. And it is hiding a precious thing, really. On we move. Time is not on our side. Are we dragging an almost dead guy to a warehouse where we think there's more treasure for us to steal? I, I don't know. Is Dalek still with I mean, us? Look at I this. Feel like he's look not. at that. He's, I feel like he is. We just literally left, left this last scenario. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. <sighs> This is a uh, this this doesn't sound great. We haven't healed our wounds. Nope. Yeah, we still have radiation. Yeah, yep. and we're diving into a bunker. I, I guess we'll get more story in just a second. Okay, this is session two of the prototype that was sent to us. Mm -hmm. Session one went well, I think. I mean, yeah, if you consider getting uh, five times the amount of radiation you're allowed to have and actually legally survive, um, being well. Uh, we, we did, uh, I didn't get any wounds at all. I feel like I did exceptionally well. I, I tried to kill nothing, someone a lot. Or you did nothing in the first scenario, and I that's mean, why you didn't put yourself at risk and get any wounds. I was trying to kill that one guy for like five rounds. Yeah, you stood there looking Let at him. Let me be very clear. I threw one very effective grenade. You did. Blasted someone's kneecaps and yeah. head off with a shotgun. Yep. And Shira found... I found a fantastic Vera shotgun. Oh my goodness. This is so cool and powerful. It can hold six ammo. The range is four and there's two different types of shooting that I can do with it. I can do a burst or I can do a single shot. You spend three ammo or one ammo and I can target. I I love these rifles. This is what convinced Shira to play yeah. this is. session it is. here <laughs> with us. Yeah. Uh, Jesse My Lady also, Vera. My Lady Vera. Jesse also touched the butt and uh, played with the anomaly a lot and managed to gain a uh, special artifact. Yeah, so there's anomalies throughout this which you can go interact with and it's not necessarily advisable. But if you do, and I'm very good at doing that, my character specifically, not me, uh, I picked up what is called a stone flower, which allows me to use radiation to actually prevent damage. The, the negative part is I, I have used the stone flower quite a bit, quite a bit, which mm -hmm. means I have already too much radiation. So that's Lots good. Of radiation. So that's good. Uh, should we set up our characters and yeah. dive into this? Absolutely. Shira. Yeah. Who is my Lady Vera? My Lady Vera is a sniper. She's very good at taking these long shots at a range. She is searching for her husband who has gone missing. Do you want the flavor text? Yeah. They say love is blind, and for my lady, it's simply untrue. With money, cars, and expensive tutors, she had everything. Her posh accent sets her apart from others, and she still treasures her scratched up watch that could fetch a fortune outside the zone. But her happiness was fleeting. During a hunting trip, my lady was mauled by a bear and fell into a coma. Years later, she woke to find her husband, a high-ranking army officer, missing. His squad had disappeared into the zone on the same day she woke up. Milady couldn't ignore the secret of her husband's disappearance. She took up a sniper rifle and set out into the zone to find him. No one has seen or heard of Polkovinik Stefan Andrukov and his unit, but she still holds out hope. In the stalker world and universe, mm -hmm. West, th that happens quite a bit. We're, we're yeah. facing off with different factions and different allies. Exactly. There's there's many different types of factions that are still inside of the zone. Uh, there's uh, a, a faction called Duty. There's one called Monument. Um, there's also uh, an Eastern faction that I believe is still uh, surviving it around there. Uh, Duty is the militarized version of it. So there's lots of different things that you're going to be seeing inside the zone. Uh, and there are also anomalies and unique uh, people like snorks that uh, are former people. I, yeah. I don't know. Is like that? Is that what you call them now? I, I don't know. They've got these really cool noses. Um, I wanted to show Milady's special item. She can camouflage. It's a one-time use, and I can basically remove all of the noise inside of her zone. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. But then Did I you just use that last time? No, I saved it. Yeah. I have felt no need to use you it. You get your special item back. I mean, I have adrenaline over here with me, which oh. allows me to reset all my actions. That's how yeah, I touch the anomaly. Used it. I have Borsuk. <laughs> Borsuk, yeah. Borsuk. Borsuk's special ability is going to be keeping low. He can move very efficiently, but his story. Borsuk is old. Really old. 
and that's about it. He's lived in the zone for a long time, longer than anyone thinks they uh, they rationalize or remember. He also, at one point, left the zone, or multiple points left the zone, finds the outside world more threatening and more dangerous, so he's chosen to return and live here. He's good at interacting with anomalies, that's his special ability. Is, he's yes. good at managing radiation. He is really good at being in this really bad place. West, some flavor text? Yeah, so I'm playing with Palkin, uh, and he is, you know, uh, you mentioned that you're old. Well, I'm a former army guy, so I'm supposed to be really good at being army guy. They call him Boss up close, but in whispers boss. he's known as Palkin. Uh, he is not only a tactical genius, but also a true fighter who commands every stage of combat. Palkin leads by example, senses weaknesses, and guides his team to victory whether bullets fly above him or not. Despite his combat prowess, Palkin has a fear of the zone's swamps. He once almost drowned in one, but he doesn't let that stop him. With his commanding presence and combat skills, Palkin is the guy to lead the assault. Unfortunately, the last time we played, I I didn't lead much of an assault. I was very poor at rolling and and keeping. I kept someone pinned down the whole game, though. That's true. I mean, I, I was making sure you guys weren't going to get in trouble. Extremely effective. Very effective. Shall we story? Yes, we shall story. Now we're going to be going in between some audio logs, some reading of ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one of the two we're doing, depending on the edit. Some of these audio logs are a bit long for a video, but really thematic if you're sitting around the yes. table, staring at each other, gazing into each other's eyes, falling deeply and madly in... What? Can we continue? <laughs> Absolutely. Part two, the fray in the fridge. Running away is the worst part, I swear. The cold air burns in my lungs, my legs heavy like lead. Dalek is all beat up, but appears weaker than he should be. He doesn't want me we to see do his have hand. Dalek. Apparently. All wrapped in dirty rags. At one point, we are both too exhausted to run, so we take a break. I listen. No sounds but the chirping of birds and a distant cry of a mutant. There is no pursuit, but Dalek assures us there will be as soon enough. He has heard that the leader of the Turbos, a scary bastard called Piston, is returning soon to the camp. His cronies were waiting for him to begin the real interrogation. He shudders violently, no doubt visualizing what it would have looked like. We catch our breath and we move on. We haven't got far. The professor waits for us outside the bunker, smoking nervously, barely visible in the fog. He smiles with relief and hurries us into the bunker. You okay, Dalek? he asks. Uh, more or less, Dalek mutters. Listen, thank you for getting me out of hell. I understand it was not charity, so I will tell you all that, uh, all you want to know. Uh, want to get inside the warehouse? Fine. There are three possible entrances. Firstly, you could use the main gate, which is all rusty. Secondly, there is hole torn by that charging brute, and there is also emergency tunnel we dug, but never used. The artifact that is part that we call the fridge Put on a scarf before you get there. As he's saying those words, he tries to hide his injured hand. The professor notices that too. He, he springs up to tear off the rags from Dalek's hand and to see the terrible frostbite. Um, place stickers two and three on so the location. Every now and then we'll have rules that pop in here. Uh, we won't place these stickers, but if you hand me that sheet, mm -hmm. I can show them. So it's kind of a uh, kind of stash map or a developing map like you'd see in the video game where you start uh, each campaign adds different missions, adds different uh, events that change the scene. Uh, it's like you're writing little notes on your own journal. She really likes it. Yeah. Yeah. Sticker. <laughs> You want to try them? I want stickers. So stickers what numbers? Two and three in their correct two location. Three. Those are not stickers two and three. These are going to be from the other sticker pack, which I don't think is on the table. Mm, okay. Yes, it's definitely not on the table. Either way. Later. There. Cool. What? The professor shouts and pulls his gun. You touched the artifact, didn't you? Trying to rob me? Dalek tries to explain himself and to convince us that he only touched the artifact by mistake, and later he hasn't revealed anything to the Turbos, yet Yozef is too furious to listen. The barrel of his gun is trembling as he pulls a wad of banknotes. Take this, he says, and, and get out of my face, you damn bottom feeder! Dalek snatches the money and leaves. What a thief! <sighs> Yalush snares it. Dalek disappears into the mist. So we don't have Dalek anymore. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dalek. I'm glad I have you, a, a troop pro, I suppose. He goes on to warn me not to touch the artifact with bare hands as it radiates freezing cold, a secret he obviously hid from Dalek. 
I wonder how many other secrets he's hiding onto. Soon after that, the professor tells me to get ready and to announce that he will join me. A real need to support me or a lack of trust, maybe? Yeah, both. Listen, he whispers as he shows me the signet. If anything happens to me, take this thing uh, to the artifact to Pripyat, okay? Find the azure swimming pool and show it there. Y you'll get your reward. I nod, but uh, there's no time for questions. Yazov urges me to move, and I can tell that he is visibly concerned about the turbos. Piston and his cronies want that object really bad, and Dalek, despite his claims, may have betrayed the secret of the tunnel to them. True enough, I feel the same, but there is no way I'm going to charge blindly. You can't kill a pseudo-giant with a pocket knife. If this is going to work, I need more firepower, I say. Pay some money up front, and then we go grenade shopping. Sounds okay. Uh, place stickers four and five in the correct location on the map zone. I found the stickers, and I've placed them. <laughs> so you see, they Excellent. develop the map. They're, they're like spanning things out. So what's it say we're doing with them? Uh, so now we select one of those locations marked in blue uh, and having a reference to the script. So they have to have a number on them, I would assume. So we have a blind pita stash, an old Daniel gunsmith, or a traitor in healing gunsmith? I think gunsmith sounds like fun. Gunsmith. Gunsmith. Okay. I already have a great gun, but I'll but go along with you guys. The rest of us don't have great guns. Should I wonder we? if they have attachments. There. I could use a new grenade. I used my last one, and it was effective. All right, so uh, which one, there is a, a book that we would use to go through that. This is kind of our campaign binder. 105. 105. All right, let's see here. So, Old Daniels. Approaching the gunsmith cottage, I can feel a mysterious aura emanating from it. The air is heavy with an acrid smell. And I just ground... haven't taken a shower for a while. I mean, that's kind of normal. Uh, the ground crunches beneath my feet, and I step over broken glass and twisted metal. It is clear that the gunsmith must have moved away from here a long time ago. Do you loot the building uh, where you're going to gain some stuff? I don't know if I'm allowed to say what you could happen there. Is this there. a group decision, or is this a single decision? Uh, this would group be a, a group decision. Okay. Or we could wade through the anomalies that we see in hopes of finding any artifacts. Loot. Loot. Loot it is. So, uh, ooh, this is one chosen stalker. Okay. Hmm. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so the chosen stalker gains three rads. So that will be uh, in here in the item deck if you want to search through that. There will be uh, rads, kind of like pills, and they will help lower your radiation. Oh! Uh, you gain a you. silencer, which is a western silencer. Oh, I need eastern. Uh, you'll gain a PSO-1 scope, uh, which is the... And you'll gain three rifle ammo from the item's deck. I'll take rifle ammo. I need rifle ammo. Mm, Do any of you else have rifles? Unfortunately not. Good. Rifle ammo. Can you go through that again? How many is it of each thing? P1, you'll gain three. PSO-1 scope. Yep, PSO-1 scope. Uh, you'll gain three rads and three rifle ammo. So much. And then you'll need sticker eight. Okay, I've got sticker eight. Oh, Dano moved. Darn. And then we go to page 36 in our campaign book. Want to see how this works? This is eight. He moves. We can't access him again. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. That's what I'm we've saying. Because we've already... Uh, we've looted him. Looted interesting. Him. So that means that so we no stickers, longer have access to those anomalies. I, I've always wanted a game where the stickers get placed on top of stickers. Yeah. I, I, I really I like that concept. I like I like cards on top of maps. I like stickers on top of stickers. Um, I don't see three rads in here. Um, I found one rad, and we can just use it three times. Sure. We'll just put three charges on it, I guess. Yeah. That works. So. See. Daniel moved. No oh, longer an option. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice. The stickering is not the best right now. I'm trying to do it so we can play. You did way better than I would have. Okay. Those are your options. Am I allowed to share with people? Share uh, with people. You, I mean, could she hand them to us immediately? You said I got three rifle ammo, Yeah, right? I would say so, yeah. There's three of these? Three? You should get three of them, yeah. So was there I put, any more I rifle? put charges on it as well. Yeah. Okay, well, I already have one, so I'll put three. Can I have some cubes? One, two, three. Um, can I have three for the rad as well? Yeah, can I have the rad? 
Yeah, yeah Jesse desperately needs the red. He's uh, extremely high. So you when have a you... Western weapon, right, West? <coughs> yes, I do. Here. Silenced Western. <laughs> Mine's are, mine, is is awesome. mine is Eastern now, so you can take it. And then what is this PS scope? It's so when item. using a single shot or aim shot, add plus one blue to this roll. Ooh. Nice. Single shot. I have a single shot. It doesn't go here. It goes in my backpack. But nope, I No, it goes on the gun. Mm -mm. It goes on the gun. Oh, it's Eastern type. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yay. Now, once you attach something to something, you cannot unattach it. Yeah, is it's my understanding. Worth it. Yeah, absolutely worth it. What's your just? Uh, it two? lowers the amount of uh, noise that happens. So instead of doing two, it only does one. Nice. Yeah, much better. Mine's still a shotgun. <laughs> it doesn't help me with my burst, which is annoying. Um, because it's a single shot or aimed shot, it would have been more helpful last time with my bolt action rifle. Yeah, but still. I still get to add with my single shot. It makes this a lot more powerful. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. so blues, blues are good. There's no chance of jamming, and yep. they can hit up well, to three. Well, I was looking at my weapon while you guys were talking. Do you see anywhere that it says jam? It doesn't. My weapon can't jam. Your weapon can't jam? Her weapon can't jam. It's a very good weapon. You see? All these weapons, they say yeah. jam wow. on them. My weapon cannot jam. Very good. That very is good awesome. Weapon. So, because when I do my weapon. burst, I roll four red dice, and I can... I can um, I can allocate the hits however I want in anything yep. in range. Very cool. So yep. it would be really bad if that jammed. All right. Uh, so yes, Jesse, when you do your rad, by the way, if you take those pills, um, it will take you down that total number of spaces on the Geiger counter level. Uh, you don't have to stop at the thresholds, yep. which you would have had to do with Cossack Vodka. So. Gotcha. Okay. On the way, I stopped by Sadarovich's shop to buy supplies. The bastard has steep prices, but I don't have time to haggle. So we're going to set up his shop. Uh, we gain load of coupons uh, from the loop deck. This is our down payment you for the job. You already have some coupons as well. I have a well. few coupons. I'll do so bring that over. The Perfect. Now we're going to draw one ammo card of each type, the pistol, the rifle, and the shotgun. Okay. Uh, we're going to draw the sunrise suit, which is an armor card. So defense two, radiation protection one. None of us have radiation protection, do we yet? Nope. Gain plus one success to your defense roll. Each success reduces enemy attack by one. Perfect. Okay. Uh, nice armor. We also have the uh, SPAS 12, SPAS 12. Which is a uh, brand new shotgun. Um, has four ammo in it, uh, which is very nice and a little bit farther range. And we also have the VSS Venatores, a weapon card as well. This is going to be a brand new, looks like sniper of some type. Um, very, very expensive. That's not going to be an option for us. It is okay. 5,000 credits. So shopping. Shopping works by a set of... I'm really excited about this because post-apocalyptic shopping <clears throat> systems is one of my favorite things to explore. Mm. Uh, like, if I was ever going to write a book, it would be about, like, a fiction book. But, but shopping in the post-apocalyptic world? No, it'd, world? Be, it'd be about little freak... Like, little, like, Redwall-style creatures okay. living in a post-apocalyptic setting, and a large portion of the book would just be on the economy of trading in goods. <laughs> I really love it. Like, in Fallout and everything, it's one of my... So... Each one of our cards that we have in our backpack have some type of value, like the decoy, no value at all, or your signal flare, 200 credits. We also have coupons. We have a total of 2,500 coupons that we can use. We can nice. combine any number of these cards together, discarding them to the shop to trade for the items we want or we need. We mm -hmm. also, keep in mind, have a lot of rifle ammo, which Excuse could you. turn into... You, we don't know what type of ammo this one needs. Money very this quickly. This one needs shotgun ammo. Yeah, this needs rifle ammo. It actually just says ammo. It, just it doesn't say ammo. what type of ammo it takes. But Correct. the symbol... <clears throat> They're all the same symbol. Uh, the shotgun's different. I'm saying the shotgun says shotgun. It, it is rifle ammo because that, that has the, the rifle symbol. So oh. I would agree with you. Yeah, the pistol, the pistol has something else. Cool. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, that defense, Sunrise suit is very nice. I don't know that we need more ammo. Um, I would agree. But... I don't want to share my ammo. I, I was going to say, that being that being said, Shira might not want to share her ammo. I could use more shotgun ammo if I was going to invest in the Spaz 12. So we all can agree that this uh, Vintores... Is too expensive. Is too expensive. I mean, you could trade your Vera in. I, my Vera doesn't jam. That one jams. I'm not taking a risk. All right. So this is out of the running. The Spaz 12. You are specializing in shotguns. 1,500. You it's, have shotgun ammo already. It's definitely more valuable than my saw, sawed off. And I could trade my sawed off right yep. now for another set of ammo. Mm -hmm. So if we, were, if we were okay with it, I would discard my sawed off. 
Okay. Keep Trade this. it back to the thing. Uh, gain my spaz and gain another set of ammo. And because it comes with a set of four ammo, comes fully loaded. Uh, comes fully loaded, and this will be this will have uh, additional ammo that will reload it as well. Mm -hmm. So that's actually that's better than, than it's a lot better than what I had in terms of a little yes. double barrel. For sure. Okay. So this I'll pop in right here. So I have some backup ammo. And then this should have four little yeah, cubes on it. Yeah, your nuts and bolts, you probably should take that off. Nuts and bolts coming off. Yeah. But I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then who's interested in either rifle ammo or the sunrise suit? Because we still have a thousand credits left. Yeah, and also keep in mind that we could heal wounds and reduce radiation for oh. an additional 500 credits. Yes, please. So 500, can I dress? To, 500 to heal a wound. Um, can you dress my wound, please? So I think, does, does it need to be dressed before it's healed? It Technically, according to the information, it needs to be dressed before it's healed. Okay, so I'll use a bandage pack okay. to have dressed the wound, and then sure it will be fully healed. Thank All right, you. and then we, that leaves us with 500 left, correct? Uh, yeah, Our, but we could also trade in trying to get up to the sunrise suit if, West, you wanted a sunrise suit. Yeah. I would love a sunrise suit, but I don't, I mean, that's a lot of stuff to trade in. Do we want to see where <laughs> our money might be if we were going for it? So I could technically get rid of my military aid kit, which is... Uh, what it does is it heals two wounds in combat. You can also um, get rid of your leather jacket, which is 500. Also true. If you're going to be upgrading it. Your military aid kit would be beneficial for me. Yeah, it would really be helpful for Do you. Do we think that we can get items back from the market? Because I don't need my other rifle right now. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. I would be hesitant to get rid of it. But... Well, Wes, Jesse traded in his yeah, other I tra weapon. I traded but he mine. doesn't care about that one. But she doesn't care about that either. She's got the Vera. Yeah, well, let's okay, get rid of so it. So that's 12. So what if we did this, added added this in, that's 12. We have 17 because we had 500 remaining. Mm -hmm. If we trade this in <clears throat> to heal two of my wounds, we'd still have a surplus of 500. No, 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 we're not going to, don't do that. This is way better to well, I've use. Got, I've got two wounds. This also activates one of your tokens. I'm, okay. Jesse wants to heal his wounds. I'm just yeah. saying, I, I can take off both. I can take off both my wounds. This, the, keep this that. does the same thing. Yeah. So we're sitting at 17. So 17. we need to get to. We need another. Uh, Here's another 500 for my jacket. So okay. 300 more. Sure, you want to sell one of your rifle ammos? What? Well, I thought we were at it. He no, we're still short. 300. We had 500. We have 500. We have 1200. No, we we yeah we we need to get to 2500. Oh, we need 300 more. Um, choose which one looks worse between these. Uh, between a flashbang or a smoke grenade? Yeah. I don't think you'll, you have a total of, uh, four full reloads on your gun. Yeah. I, I think That's what I'm saying. Like, choose which one looks better for me to carry. I'll carry one. I'll trade the other one in. But I, you I would keep these. I would ammo. get rid of one of your sets of ammo. Because those are worth a lot. I like, my ammos are worth 500, though. Yeah, we would have a surplus of 200. Yeah. But you'd still have these items, and you're not going to reload your gun four times. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> we have problems if you're reloading your gun yeah. four times. Yeah. Especially with six bullets six per... Six bullets per, yeah, that's a lot. Fine. Putting all three on here, get rid of the card. I have three reloads. Okay, all right. She has three reloads, uh, and you now have a beautiful sunrise suit. Excellent. Okay, what's next? So we do have a surplus of $200 and we are supposed to draw us uh, five items from that deck also to include in the shop. So if we wanted to draw those, we could see if a grenade pops up from that. Okay. You want a grenade? Yeah, I would love, if, if we have the money, I would love a grenade. Mm -hmm. Very happy with the spaz. Let's see what we get. So item one, shotgun ammo, perfect. Pistol ammo, okay. amazing. Grenade. Hey, there you go. Love that, more pistol ammo and a scope. Well, Someone. Is, that's Ooh. expensive. So, but it's going to be. Oh, I can't add anything to my Western shotgun. Western type. Western is that for you, West? <laughs> yeah, that would be uh, me. So uh, the scope is going to be adding an extra blue, which could be very nice. Yep. So that's a thousand. I would really love a grenade, which is five hundred. So mm -hmm. if we were able to get another thirteen hundred. I donated stuff already. <laughs> yeah. You in value. Not look at me. Um. You can get rid of some of your antiviral. Pills. Anti-rad pills. That's each yeah. 500. They add defense. I would be willing to do an anti-rad pill for the grenade. Can you get up mm -hmm. to 700 possibly? Uh, no. You've got the flare. Yeah, I, I can, I mean, if I got rid of my pistol ammo, but that's literally the ammo that I own. Yeah. So it's probably not a good plan Do you that. want any more pistol ammo? Mm -hmm. 
Um, I, I would take this ammo if we have nothing else left, or, rather than waste it. Or hear me out. Do we trade the military aid kit for a scope and a grenade? I would love a scope. I think that would be really great. We already found out that I'm so great at Let's killing do it. things. Military aid kit. Okay. You get the scope. I'll pull the grenade. I'm going to stick that right in my shotgun ammo slot. So I have two pairs of shotgun ammo. And we have 200 surplus, which is just enough for you to get a little bit more pistol ammo. Mm -hmm. Let's go in guns blazing. What do you say, folk? Guns blazing. Okay. Let's continue. My, my ammo is so expensive. Yours is really, yeah. It's good ammo. All right. So what am I up against this time? There is a warehouse with valuable artifact I need to find and return to Yezov. Fine. No biggie. If, of course, the pseudo-giant doesn't interfere with the plan or the turbos don't show up too early. Ugh, next time I'll negotiate higher wages. All right. Let's roll. I have a feeling pseudo-giant, they keep mentioning it, might be part of this scenario. Thoughts? Can I go? Yeah. I want it to go. I already planned out my turn. Hold on. We haven't even started the mission yet. Oh, okay. The mission begins! The warehouse looms up ahead, shrouded in mist and secrecy. The dead silence of the day is disturbed by the pseudo-giant's muffled growling. I can't see the monster anywhere. Is it still in the warehouse? Dark clouds billow above me, heavy with radioactive rain. Damn! There's no time to lose. I need to get inside, grab the artifact, and run, because the turbos may appear at any moment and claim it. Forward! And no fear! Uh, you're ready to go. Let's... Go to the player phase. Do we have any sense of what we might get from these space anomalies? No. Okay. Uh, along with that, there are a few cards down here that we should make note of. We have a rusty old gate with uh, Uva sprayed in purple, hard to open from the outside. We could try to break through that door. We have looks like someone or something smashed the metal wall open here, which means this is where the big guy went through. Mm -hmm. And a huge rift in the wall. Uh, it's it sags bent inside. Is this where the brute? Okay, the brute got in there. They dug the hole here, and then here we have a wooden shed with a smashed door. It's blue paint peeling off. Hopefully, the roof is still in one piece. And then there's also something up here. Okay, as well. so this one is a few old wood planks, some with rusty nails sticking out of them. The entrance or what? And then finally, a huge bent aluminum sheet, possibly a perfect cover for a tunnel exit. Oh. So that might be where we're leaving. So tunnel, tunnel exit. Uh, this might be a doorway into something over here. Okay, interesting. What what approach do we want to take? I wanted to go kill the snork. Okay. <laughs> I want to go kill a snork. Perfect. Right, Shira's going to go snork, murder Shira. a snork okay. immediately. Going one, two, three. He sees me, I see him, but he's out of range. Nice. Correct. Is he going to run at her? Uh, he is not going to run at her because he can't see that far. Okay. His range is only a three, so he doesn't see her. Ha -ha, see her. But my range is a four, and I'm gonna shoot him. So <laughs> I use I use this um, I use this action to move my lady by three spaces. Okay. Um, can you please place three oranges in that spot? So the way this works is because she moved three spaces, she's gonna be placing a sound token for each space she moved leading up to there because she made noise, and then as far as line of sight goes, it's always just gonna be in direct linear patterns, and so. Yep. Right up through here. She can see it. It cannot see her. Um, even if it was like around this corner, you know, she can see the head popping around the side. And right. I am not utilizing this for the extra success or the extra move token. I'm just using it for the action over there. Um, now I am going to use this token um, for the extra success. And I'm going to do a single shot, spend one ammo. My single shot, when using a single shot, I get to add one blue. I get to roll two reds and one blue and I could choose a body part and I am going to target the head because I get an extra success. All right. So I have automatically two successes. I'm targeting its head. It's facing me, correct? That is correct and it does need seven to make a hit. Okay. That would be nice. Uh, that would be nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Your gun does not jam because you don't have the ability to jam. So it's these nice. skulls would create a potential jam but they yep. don't so this is going to be Eight on her own. Nice. Paired with the two she already has. Shira, how do you want to do this? His head explodes like a melon inside this like pressing machine and goes. <laughs> he's dead. Okay. Did you shoot him right through like the glass part of the gas mask that he's wearing? Oh, I don't know if I'm. Yeah, I'm a sniper. My yeah. aim is that good. That's pretty good. Okay, drop an item where he 
He died. Squishes. Item goes down. If we walk over that zone, we will pick that item up. These could be things from the loot deck, like we just mm -hmm. saw. Exactly. Now, I do technically have another move with this action. That you could take now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start sneaking around this way. Okay. Now, what we're looking for and is... drop a little item. Eyes. Is there um, eyes? <laughs> there aren't eyes to allow like, us to see through. I was here. hoping not. So, did you finish your action here? That first action, did it finish here? Because all three of these would go here, if that's the case. No, my first action, I moved into here. Yeah. Now she okay. has an additional then move. Then in here, I did have to drop two reds, because I shot in here. Gotcha. So drop two reds in here, and then I used the third the, the um, step. The action, okay, gotcha. Free step to move in there. Perfect. Sound is going to go on the board, come off the board, but where the most sound is, is where creatures are going to be going, which means all of us would probably benefit from not being where in Shira just zone. went. Yeah. Well, no, it's going to come around. He's gonna come around because otherwise he's farther. He's two steps That's that true. way, one, two, three steps the other way. So I'm gonna try and sneak around behind him. Yeah, so we might wanna cut up this way, Wes. Although uh -huh. he's got three movement, he's gonna see me. Um, I still have another action. We'll see what I, what I, see, what I do. Okay, Wes, do you wanna go or you want me to start moving? Uh, well, the last time I didn't do things, I got in a lot of trouble. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something this time. You um, are going to take radiation by going through these green zones. But yeah, I'm not going that way. That's why I have to I do have to go this way, though, because that's radiated as well, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> that's less good. Oh, this zone isn't radiated. No, it's this one right here. It's Perfect. this zone outlined in the green. All right, so I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to do a move move. So one, two. I don't see anyone in houses that you could try to, you know, suppress... <laughs> I, I, I'm very, very good at suppression, your hand. Yeah. so I, I appreciate that you that you feel that way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another uh, small action here and go boom, boom to get into this. And now what does that amazing card say, Jesse? Uh, this card says, uh, try to break the door with a big action. Place one marker on this card. Place one sound on your space. There are three markers on this, reve on this card. Reveal the card. Perfect. So I'm going to put my two sound for moving there, and then uh, one small sound or big sound? One big sound. One big sound. And then one marker showing that you're trying to break down the door. You'll need two more of those. Okay. Should I go help him so that we get through that door quicker? Can we put one marker down on there, please? And that was my big action. It's either going to take him two more rounds, or I go support him, but that'll definitely draw the attention of some of these snorks. Yeah, go for it. They love you. He's only going to move one, two, three spots and hit one of you. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know that I wanted to West go... has like some fancy net, fancy armor defense as well. I'm just not... I, I just wasn't sure that I wanted to go through that door specifically. Mm -hmm. You can go wherever you want. It's fine. I can I can suppress like the best. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. What you doing, Shira? I was just looking at this other action up there, but I think you have to be inside. Shira sure, could in also run up behind him. Oh, but she can't reach him to shoot him. Never mind. Yeah, she need a little bit, a little bit more <laughs> movement to to reach him to shoot him there. Um, okay, so I'm going to use a small action to go ahead and start moving. I'm going to be doing a um, ah, big action for keeping it low. Yeah, but that means you can't help me anyway. So, because it's only the big action that works there, right? Yeah. 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 I. There's not a good angle to get on some of these guys, too. Like, I want to go in guns blazing, but sneaking might be the best opportunity right now. So I'm going to go... You're going to accumulate radiation. I'm going to go big... Go this way. I don't, want to, I don't want more radiation, so really. you can target him back there. Um, yeah, but then I'll lay sound, and this guy will come directly for me. And see west. He's coming this way anyway, so... He's coming that way. Yeah. He's going to come there. I don't know if you can even get there to do anything. One, two, one, two three, three four, one, two. Five. I could fire. I could fire at him. I've got a range of three. You can get to this square. Yeah, I've got a range of three, but I lose. I lose die the farther I am away. Yeah. I think. I'm, I think I'm gonna go this way. So I'm using my big action for a movement of three, which is gonna be keeping it low. Move by two spaces plus the one of my thing, so three total, and put only two in the zone I go to, which none are gonna go here because there's already enough noise there. Mm -hmm. Um. If I'm a target of an Overwatch, which I'm not, I'd gain an additional defense, which is also very nice. Then I'm going to spend one little one to move two. So one, two. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend my last one, which has a additional blue, uh, to do a single move forward, a single shot, which is going to cost one ammo, and I'll get a blue die on this attack. Yes. So place two sound right behind me here, two mm -hmm. big ones. 
plus the one for my move. Um, Hope you kill him. Uh, roll four red, minus one for each space between us. There are no spaces between us. Four? Yep, this is a good good weapon now. And we are jammed. We're jammed. Did you, <laughs> did you make a hit? We're jammed. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, Absolutely five, made a six, hit. seven. Made a hit, which is going to be at least six for a heavy wound. Now okay. I have to roll this. Yep. If I get a any dash, symbol. any symbol, he's going to be dead. And oh. boy, he's pinned down, though. Wow. He's very pinned. You taking after Wes. And here. so pinned. Please give me a jam on my gun. Would you like strawberry or grape? Yeah, so a jam is going to take an action to clear. I think it might be worthwhile to pop an adrenaline shot. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think, like, does it make sense right now, or does it make sense to hold an adrenaline shot for later on in the game? I mean, it's the good news is anywhere. he's not going anywhere. He's so staying. Okay, okay. He's going okay. to activate. Okay, that's fair. So no grenade throw. No grenade no throw. No grenade throw. All right. Um, I'm going to use my last action to take a step in here. Can I peek? What's in here? Is just an item. Just an there? item. Could be worth it to go get it. Uh, so then I'm going to take, I'm going to use it to move a step. So place two orange in that space, please. Okay. Uh, and and then you're taking the item? I'm taking the item. Okay. And there's no peeking right here, is there? No, him? nope. So I'm in that spot, technically. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, item, please, from the item deck. What is it? You it got echo detector. When exploring an anomaly, you may treat a yellow as a blue. This Ooh. is worth 3,000 <clears throat> credits as well. That's amazing. Which means maybe we don't use it for the anomalies. Yeah, Although, I mean... It's who, not, who it doesn't say to discard. No, it's just... It's a permanent, it's a permanent it's a thing. Whoa. That's why it's so good. It's an instant action that you can use. It is amazing. Turns yellows, which move you... Which, in the past, so far we've seen, move you <laughs> out of a space, which really sucks. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, That'd be good you should come day. to me and hand that off. We're to me, right next to each other. I'm gonna go touch the butts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That is the end of uh, end the of our phase. action phases. So now it is the uh, enemy phase. So the first thing we're gonna do is start from northwest and work our way down. Um, okay. So no one's up there. That's probably the closest north that is west north. one. That is the most northern. All right, so, so he's faced that way. Can he hear this space? This is a total of four. No, he's five away. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five. six. Yeah, he can't hear it. Yeah. that spot. Can't yep. hear it. So he's good. Um, he's so gonna he's start gonna do towards... his own thing. Oh. So he's gonna go in the direction he's currently facing, doing his movement action, which will be three. One. Continue going up. Yeah, he's always going to go northwest, like okay. that's the action that they have, or in the facing direction that they're in. Um, there's nothing in line of sight, so now he's going to roll this random um, die here, and see which direction he's facing. He's facing south. south. He's going to turn around and face south. Just kind of patrolling, right. just kind of moving around. This next one, however, can absolutely hear the sound. <clears throat> yes. So he's going to be running towards you three. One, one two, two, three. He's not in the space with you. Yeah. But he's got a range. But he definitely has a range. Uh, so he now sees me. Um, his attack is going to be five damage. And uh, he's going to put a he's red gonna, in my space. He goes onto the target space, so he's going to be here he with you. His yep. attack is a jump. Great. That's that's super good. Red on that space. You need to block five potential damage. You have the you have the suit though. So. I, I do have the suit. Um, <clears throat> so each success reduces the enemy attack by one. And I gain plus one to my defense So you're roll. looking for four. So I need four. One, two, I three. I got three. No, four. No, that's... Yeah, oh, yeah. Five. Yeah, no, I get, five. Yeah, you need four. five, yeah. though. You, yeah, you, you, I needed... You, you hurt. Yeah. You hurt. I'm, I got a wound. So West I'll take, is doing stuff. I'll take this wound, and I also have this uh, a deep beautiful wound. deep wound. You can't be dressed so, or healed during the mission. Great. Amazing. It doesn't continue bleeding. That's the great part. That is good. It doesn't have any technical horrible All right, effect. and now he gets an overwatch. Does he just stay here with you? He does, yep. Wow. That's great. Here's his overwatch token back. That one just gets yep. the token taken off. So we just off. remove this guy. Nothing else bad happens. Okay. And we only have three on the board. Do the anomalies move at all? Uh, anomalies don't move. We are. Uh, we do need to look at the rest of the end of turn phases at yep. the end of their phase. Uh, the end of turn phase says that we resolve any noise. So can any of these areas with this hear what's going on around them? So in this space here, we've got a total of four that just happened. So one, two, three, four. Okay. That definitely triggers. So we might have people up there. 
We have one snork in this area, and he is going to be facing north, and he has an overwatch. Cool. Nice. That one is not going to trigger, I don't think, no, because... No, none of the ones up there will. Uh, yeah. Well, that's actually four, five, six, seven. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Yeah, that it one It just trigger. triggers. Wow. Yep. <clears throat> that is going to be uh, one snork there as well. Another snork. And it's going to be facing east with an overwatch. Uh, we don't have much more snork. Staring at the wall. Um... That one isn't going to be heard. That one's not going to be heard. So we're good for those. Okay. Now I'm going to do a sound cleanup. Yep. So all yellows come off. Um, all basic sound, and one red comes off. Now the other interesting thing is when enemies move, you also might reduce some of the red because they're looking at the zone and seeing like, oh, there's no one there. Right. But outside of that, red clears a lot slower and it's more noisy. Correct. It counts as basically two noise yeah. in that zone. <clears throat> and uh, now we go to the next page. Okay. A raindrop splashes quietly against the acid green grass, then another. Gray clouds collect right above me, dense and sinister. The air smells of ozone. Radioactive rain. Hurry, I must take cover. End of turn. Uh, we don't read the end of turn yet, but we know that radioactive rain is coming. So what we is probably want to seek shelter. Cover? Yeah. So inside of some building is probably where That's we That's why this go. one says hopefully the roof's intact. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. All right, Jesse, would you like to take your snork out? Yeah, so we reset our tokens. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, if you don't mind, I'll go ahead and start doing stuff. Did you want to try to kill that guy? The guy that, that you're you, standing in front of? Was, yeah. Or literally so, standing behind. So I'm, I'm going to use an one action to clear my gun. Okay. I'm then going to go ahead and use one action Wait, to... Wait, but does that trigger Overwatch? No. No, because he's behind. He's okay. facing the other direction. I'm going to use one action to fire into his face with a blue and four red. From the back, though, right? From the back. Yeah. Did we count that from the back concept? I'm pretty sure we did, yeah. Yeah. I jam again. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> You're um, very good at the jamming. <clears throat> The good news is, though, that all you have to do is, again, do the same thing. He's very Just dead this time. don't roll a nothing. Yeah, hey, there we go. And He's drop an dead. item there. And you're in the same space, right? So you just automatically pick it up? Yeah. And what, what did you, you gain? Uh, energy drink. Refresh one little token. You nice. like energy drink. And I can do it immediately. I'm kind of considering going ahead and doing it. Yeah, you can unjam your gun. It's probably a good plan. Um... I'll do it to go ahead and unjam my gun. Thanks, Wes, for yeah. indicating that, that was, that's not <laughs> as Welcome. exciting as I was hoping, actually. But <laughs> amazing. Um, I can... You can touch the butt. Uh, I could, but we need to get into a zone. He doesn't mm. want I think I'm going to go ahead and step into the area where we're hoping the roof exists. Great. That's the thought. And it'll give sure information, too, if she needs to run in there as well, because we're not sure that this has a roof. I mean, in theory, it should. In theory, I'm in an should. enclosure. Yeah. We'll check. We don't know what the game says yet. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and use my big movement as a move of three, which is going to place two sound down. There should be a uh, there should be reds here again. Mm -hmm. Two more. So these are piling up, um, and I'm going to go ahead and step in one so over. If you want, you can peek first before you waste your turn moving in. Uh, I don't see a peek <clears throat> ability. You, there is. There's a peek right here. It's a little eyeball. No, you can. That means you can look through it. But this card doesn't oh, have, doesn't a have peak anything ability. peeking on it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You have to go in to, to check that. So I'm moving two up to there, placing two down here, um, and pulling this card. So it takes a minute to decipher the pencil scribble on the rumpled page, but it's an important find. Someone has been planning to take on the pseudo pseudo giant before and made lots of notes about it. Cool. Leo, the pseudo giant limps. Uh, Leo, the pseudo giant limps. I didn't know his name was Leo. That's <laughs> cute. Uh, its left leg is much weaker, so attacking it from the left means it makes a lot of sense. Global. This is an infor information for all players. Keep this card next to the map during the mission. Whenever you attack the pseudo giant from the side, gain plus one success. So Very that, nice. That sounds like we're gonna be attacking a pseudo giant in That's this game. Point. Yay. Ooh. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Uh, did it say anything about there being a roof on this? It did not. But we just but assume we assume that it, has. that it does. Yeah. yeah. We just, it, 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 in the flavor text, it said we hope there's a roof. So did now we, we talk about what our mission objectives are. We're, yeah, yeah. We're trying to get into here. Finding uh, an artifact and escaping. Yeah. So here's a question: 
I'll let you two go, but I could adrenaline shot, step out, kill the creature, step back in. So here's an interesting thing. Right now, this pseudo, this this uh, snork is gonna go this direction. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's gonna pass opposite. by the butt. Uh, so and he might he will activate it. Yes, yeah. so I like that. Okay, I, I think if we, if you don't do anything dumb inside of here, he's going this way. Cool. He'll just bypass the door. He will. Yeah, because the fast he's gonna go the fastest route. One, two, three, four to this, and it's one, two, three, four to this. Nice. So he'll go right through. Even though it. he'll see Jesse from the doorway. He's going directly to the sound first. And he's gonna do his full movement. Yeah, he'll run so past one, me. One, two, three to here. All right. That's where he's he's gonna go. There he's gonna. If touch his the movement button. stops and then he sees me, it changes. But Correct. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out a way to kill stuff now. I would love it if you could kill that, so I could run into cover. He's gonna. Um, he he's gonna come after me, and then I'll be in middle of no cover. Like if you could. Yeah. West I mean, is not getting into you would, cover. You have to go here, so you'd have to do one, two, three to get to here. Then you could shoot him. And then how do and I? And then get back? run back. I don't know if I have that much movement. Um, it might not be the worst thing to be out of cover. It might just be rads as well. I, I'm guessing it's just radiation. Yeah. So. I don't like radiation. All right, Wes, what do you want to do? I'm going to, I mean, I, I think the first thing I have to do is, uh, one of you probably has to deal with the guy in his zone. It's either yeah. you or him. And right. if I awesome. stop my turn in his zone before I get to shoot him, he's, he's going to shoot me okay, again. So move me out three. One, One, two, three. Which means he sees me now. And he takes a shot at me. Does he though? He does, yeah. Yep. So his shot is jumping to her? Uh, yeah, so he's going to... He attacks. Attack, jump, yep. Okay, block by five. Okay. Can okay, I have another blue die? Please. Um... Good block, Shira. Five. That is perfect. Prepared for him, and now... Fire Vera into his face. Uh, so I used this to move the three spots, or one, two. It would have been better to have used this to, for two spaces and then use an additional one of these for the third spot. So okay. I still have this big action left. So I still have one. So I'm using. Um, I used one, two movement, three movement, and now I have one success. I'm using this for the shot. Um, I am doing a single shot, one ammo. Um, She's like, I need all the ammo. Mm -hmm. Just one, one at a time. Just one pink. Her burst pink, is going to be awesome, though, when it's time to use it. Yeah. Rain down a whole collection yeah. of them. Um, can you please put two red in that spot after this roll? That was a bad shot. Ooh, you already got, you got one success, though, naturally. Yeah, because I'm aiming at the head, always. Um, I like aiming at the head. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's his head? Seven? Head is seven. I miss. Oh no. Okay. That is less good. Um, you don't have a reroll, a control. You can take another shot at him. I'm gonna take another shot at him. Okay. Um, this gives me a success. Uh, we're doing the same shot. Um, I have two successes, still aiming at his. Can you aim at the head specifically? Yeah, choose a body part. Ah. Um, Great shot. One, yep. two. Clean. That is seven right there. How did you do Dead. it? Um, now I'm really mad, and so I take the I take the head of my gun. I actually bang him. No, after. didn't even fire a bullet. Yeah, I, no, like, I bulleted him, and then I shot. I was so mad at him. He was being very. You made me waste a bullet, you stupid snork. Yeah, bullet did. just fell out while she was hitting him. Yeah, that's true. She lost two. She didn't realize she fired two. Yep. Um. All right. Um. What do you? There's so much red in that spot. So much noise. There's very much noise. All right, and yes. my actions are all done now. Okay. Uh, good news is... Oh, I technically have a move. Um, and I'm gonna get acid rain now. Lovely. Yeah. Alrighty. Just whip your cape up over your head. It'll be fine. Um, should I... If I go here, when he rounds the corner... Is he he will take... see you, yes. Don't do that. So... Go back here or something. Or, or just come this way towards West. West is going into the building, so... Yeah. We'll come this way. Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. Go. Great. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a big action to try and get in that space. Second mark, you're not there yet. Yep, definitely not there yet. Pretty frustrated that I got nothing else to do. <laughs> um, yeah, why didn't you kill the creature? Well, because I would have gotten hit again, and I don't like getting hit. It's scary. 
That's, that's he really should have chicken. He should have chicken there. He should have killed the creature. Yeah, it's more fun to make Shira come out and use her bullets because she's got so many. I don't, I don't, I don't have as many. Then I could have come and added my my extra to that spot and we could have gotten in there. You could have literally went in the door. But she wasn't saying like she was going to do that. It didn't sound that way. All right, Wes. But yes, I agree with you. I probably should have. You're going to waste two actions? What are you going to do? Can you, you drop move? an item in that spot um, where I killed the snork and give me the item, yeah, actually? Yeah, we'll give you yeah, the I'll just give it to you. You, were in the you got yourself out. Oh, this is probably the energy drink that came back home. Do you I use, assume. No, I, you. no. Oh, you, got oh, you got an energy drink. got an energy drink. Shira, you're hey, reactive. That gives Ooh. you an active. You can get back to the house. Doesn't give her a big one, and she can't get back to the house. If, well, if, if she I moved used this that, way, I would have gotten the item first, and I could have taken okay. a step, yep. and then. And now she's back in the house. One, two. Yay! Look at that. Bye, bye, energy drink. Yay. Okay. Perfect. Cool. So she just has two moves in that space. She's just like, I'm drinking this alone. And there's one in the space below me, which will. Because I took one step here, and then yeah, I did two. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, Don't worry, there's a spot So, three. yeah, so I had another big token there, right? Yeah. For my big yep. movement thing. Great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to think really hard multiple times about any, things. Any stuff you can do before, like, you could activate... No, you um, can't activate I could thing. throw my, my smoke grenade, and then that way nothing could hit me, but I don't think anybody's going to see me. You could throw a, do a decoy, like, up here and get this guy to come down our way. I don't, I so don't important? I, really I don't do know if that. that's important. Okay. Yeah, and that guy should have activated that anomaly when he moved by it. But we'll we'll do that when he does it this time. It'll be fine. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That is the end of our uh, our action phase. Cycling enemy phase. So uh, northwest first. So we're gonna do this guy up here first. He's not gonna hear or see anything. No, he might actually. He might, yeah, because this is this still is pretty loud too. Well, this is pretty loud here. This is six, seven, eight, nine. You can only be maximum of three, so nine. So he is going to hear that. Yep. So he's going to come. Uh, one, two, three. Yep. Still doesn't see anything. What direction? Yep. So he's going to he's going to move one more space. And one more south. space, and he's going to be facing south. That direction. Okay, running this way with an Overwatch token. Yep. Mm -hmm. This one up here is going to be coming. Down and backwards. The nine. One, two, three. Uh, he will have an Overwatch after this, but he needs to activate that anomaly. So go through that. And another yes. spot. He'll move one more space, won't he? No, not yet. Three he's is activating the only space first. He has right. What? He's yeah. activating the anomaly first. He only moves three spaces. And yeah. Then don't they? Oh, activating anomaly is and instead then he does. of yes. So no, activating not the instead, anomaly. He's running into it. So grab from the bag. Grab a token out of the bag. Mm -hmm. The gravity. The gravity round begins to shift abruptly. A distorted vision of another place superimposed into the surroundings. Space anomaly. Okay, right, flip the thing over. What does blue do? Gain one radiation. You may teleport to a chosen space uh, anomalously. Anomaly. Anomaly. So, so technically, he would do this. So he would. Uh, teleport. He would teleport to another space. Enemies are not affected by space anomalies. Okay. All right. So he doesn't teleport. Well, they're not affected by them at all. He activates it, so now yeah. we don't have to activate it. But he's not; Correct. they're not affected by it. Okay. Yep. Um, does he take his last step, or? Uh, yes, he's going to move one more time. So he's going to move uh, there. He sees that there's nothing in here, so this goes away. And he's going to turn 180 degrees, so he's going to be facing this way now. Perfect. You technically are. And this are... one sees that nothing's in here. Hold, so hold on, hold on, hold on. He's in the space. He sees you. So he's <laughs> going to attack you. No. no, that was his last that action. That was his last move thing. There. Yeah. Oh, that's he right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Sorry. See each other, and Jesse's got to shoot him before he yeah, you... triggers his Overwatch. That would okay. be good. This one over here cannot hear anything, so he's just going to move. Are you sure he's not nine one, spaces away? One, two, three. It's not. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so he also triggered that, so that one is now active as well. We don't have to draw because he doesn't get I affected. Think, aren't they all the same thing? They're all, they're, all, they're all active. They're all space anomalies. Yeah, they're so all space anomalies. So when we know one, we know them all. Um, it can be there, there can be a punishment for interacting with them, but you have to go start that process to figure out what they are and how they do. He's got Overwatch. Okay. All right. Did we roll the die for him? Yeah, I'll check. 180. Around. So he takes one extra step and then turns around. Nice. Yep. And... We, did we activate this guy? Yeah, we've activated okay. everyone. Perfect. Uh, do any of those things activate? No, nope. I don't think so. So now we remove one red from each location and all of the yellows. This is... That one is nine. That one does activate. Oh. So that one up there? Yep. All right, flip that bad boy over. Two. A. 
so no Overwatch and faces west. There's going to be two uh, snorks up there, and they're both facing west, and they do not get Overwatch. I should go visit them with a grenade. Or I can go do a burst. Oh, that'd be fun. All right, so first things first, we flip all of our tokens over, get rid of all these yellows. Um, wait, acid rain. Yeah, we do this part first. Okay. Move all the yellows, take one red off of each spot. You sure that's what the book says? Yep. Okay. Oh, no, it's not what the book says. Sorry. Okay. Let's try again. But it is the next thing we do. So each player on a space without cover gains three radiation. So, so that's me. Yeah, West gains three radiation. Great. And then, then you have the least amount of radiation. Don't worry. Go to the next page, Shira. A warning. A walkie screeches back to life. You there? The prof manages, audibly scared. I see vehicles, a line of cars coming your way. All of them. They will be there in three minutes. Tops, grab the artifact and run. The rain outside is mercifully easing off. We've got to get inside. Ooh. We have more radioactive rain coming Because out. of my sunray suit, I only take three. Nice. Ooh. Okay. It's, only, it's a total of three. Yeah, he's got raid raid. I only raid take uh, two, I mean. Nice. Okay, right. top of the round back to us. Should I try to kill a snork? Do we? Um, I'm going to try to get into that thing first. How about that? Okay. All right, so I'm flipping that over. I've now third one. There's another red one there. What does it say? So now that this is here, we're going to go ahead and reveal this card. The hinges screech loudly as we push the gate, letting in the light of the day. When you enter this building, uh, instant action, take and resolve warehouse entrance card E37A if it is not already resolved. The air is freezing cold, my breath steamy. There are slaughtered bodies on the floor, half frozen and bluish. The metal walls are corrugated, some windows shattered, others covered with rim. And there is a thing moving inside, a big one. Nice. Um, it says Great. take cards E. 38, E39, E40. Don't reveal these cards, but place them on the map. There you go. Okay, so don't reveal them, but place them on the map. So this one's up here. See, I like, I just get, I get a lot of joy out of overlaid cards like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why, but there's just, there's, for me, there's something about um, Technically, there should be walls all around on all the yellow lines. I think lines. it's bottom right corner, isn't it? Bottom right. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but for some, like for me, there's something just about the way that a map changes in a simple way with cards that's just extremely satisfying. Okay, uh, flip this card. Right. Take the pseudo giant card A04 from the enemy deck and place it next to the map, phase one side up. Ooh, phases. Enemy deck. Where's the enemy deck? Pseudo giant, West Todd. <clears throat> Where's oh, the pseudo giant? Pseudo was hanging out here. Where did he go? These are weapons. What'd you do with him? Maybe I put him off to the side. Okay, face uh, indicated space on the map. It gains a target. Take the fridge anomaly card, E forty one A. Okay. Place it in the anomaly 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 slot. Place indicated anomaly on the map as shown below. So we have the pseudo giant now. Here's the fridge anomaly, um, and it looks like this. And where's it going on the? So it goes directly in this zone, and the pseudo giant is going to be here, facing this way, with a Overwatch token, please. He's already here. He he comes in. He's inside. Great. Oh. And we're trying to get to the fridge anomaly. That's where we can pick up the relic that we're looking for. The good news is he's in a zone, so he's going to have to go through the fridge anomaly to activate it at least. So we'll see what happens when he moves. Ah. Because he's going to move. Because he's, he's in a closed zone? Yeah. Because you see there's, I think anyway, right? There's oh, doorways. No, no, it looks like not. doorways. Yeah. That's good. He moves. That's good. Okay. He's so friendly, though. Look at that is face. Is he really he friendly? He looks really I friendly. He does. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so that. you open the door. Yeah, I still have one movement left, uh, so I can move in. <laughs> um, you could. I feel like moving in is probably a good plan. Uh, do, it, this is the back side of this now, so this is the fully done card or mm -hmm. not? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so moving in to that zone there. Yeah, oops. Well, there we go. There is another, um, when you enter this building, immediately take and resolve warehouse and we did that. That's what we did. Okay. So technically we were assuming that West was going in anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. If that makes sense. You have to take that step in. Okay, perfect. So that means that I need to add uh, two yellow to that location because that's where I stopped. 
Uh, now, I guess the next question is, if I go forward, the pseudo-giant sees me, so I probably <laughs> shouldn't go that way. How much movement does he have? <clears throat> Three. I'd suggest going around. Yeah, and yeah, it sounds like a discovering what plan. that card is on the side. You have one plus defense. Uh, he's only dealing six damage, and his range is only one. Great. Uh, I'm so telling you good things. I, I hear what you're saying. Um, I believe... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move over here for two. What does that say? So, search the cabinet, reveal this card. The shards of broken glass grind beneath my boots as the draft howls from somewhere. I inspect the medical cabinet to find, gain two military aid kits from the loot deck, then shuffle this, this deck, you discard this that. card. All right. Uh, someone want to look for the military aid kits? Yep. That's the really cool one that I had. Oh, really? The blue one? I believe so, yes. Yeah, so I have one of them. Okay. Nice. Those are actually really nice. Those yeah, are they are really nice. Extremely expensive, yeah. Uh, so I'll set both of those in here because I don't need them right now. I wonder if, like, later on rounds of the game, these become extremely hard to get. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, like, the way a lot of these games work is you get some of your best things early, and then if you use it on something dumb... Yeah. <laughs> All right, out could we get. Uh, yeah, I've got one more action left. I was going to uh, to throw something to try to get him to go over there, but I, I can't uh, do exactly what I wanted. You could lure him to like the doorway here. He's he's currently going to be lured to the doorway. I wanted him to go up, so I was going to throw like a grenade or something up there. Ah. But I don't have a really good solution for that uh, at this point. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Do you want to throw a smoke bomb? I don't know that I want to throw the smoke bomb unless uh, I'll save it, and we can decide if I'm going to use it at that point. Okay. Um, Jesse, can you kill one of these snorks so I can leave my dwelling? Um, Specifically the one that yeah, sees you I can, right I can, now? Yeah, I can shoot at that one. So I'm going to do a quick shot, spend two ammo. Is it worth taking a step forward and triggering his overwatch, or no? No, no. Quick shot, place two yeah. ammo. I'm going to be rolling five red dice. Um, I get a re-roll if I would like. Um... And I may spend, I may spread my stars between two body parts of the enemy. Nice. You can put them all in the head. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't get a blue or anything. So that allows you to aim it too? Huh? Yeah. Because I can spread them between two body parts. So some, some creatures might have multiple body parts. That's well, awesome. Well, has the head and the weak spot, so like... So that is not a jam, and that is going to be plenty to well, moidalize no. it. So I don't... I. Oh. Because you targeted that. Yeah, head. I think I, I like quick shot two rapid fire shots, but not through the doorway that seems the obvious place. Okay. Just straight through the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, so you're like, boom, like boom. I see the doorway, his head is there, and I go, yeah, yeah. still body's the right shot. <laughs> totally fair. Okay. All right. Now, would you like to go deal with that anomaly on the, uh, that side? So we don't need to deal with these anomalies, technically. I sure, but they sometimes this give is, us good this stuff. This is the one we need to deal what with. Is the so space this one game? just lets you teleport. There's, it doesn't give you anything good. It just allows you to move around the board a lot faster. Which teleporting isn't necessarily the worst thing. I could pop up there and grenade, grenade those them. guys. You could. They do have. They do not have. Overwatch. They don't have Overwatch. That actually might be kind of fun. Yeah. You want to try that? Can Go I move? It. How far is that away? It is. Oh, I get spaces. one. I get one step after the attack. Yep. So now it's two spaces away. Yep. So then I'm going to do this. To go one, two, interacting with this, because of my ability, I'm going to get to draw, draw two. two. You technically have your bolts, bolts and nuts, but oh, but you it's have to active. use... It's not active. Yep. And I'm looking for what color west? Uh, green green or blue. Red, green. Green. Green is you gain one, one uh, bad radiation, and you can teleport to any anomaly. Okay, just see loves his bad radiation. Okay, going up to 30 radiation. And I think I'm going to teleport right here. Cool. And, and then... then I think the right thing is uh, pop a grenade and just watch chaos happen. What do you think? I think it's a good plan. Okay, my last action. This little guy is going to pop a grenade here. So range up to two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go right in front of me. Place two on the target space. So there's going to be a lot of sound here, but it doesn't matter because so many people are dead. Mm -hmm. um, we hope. Mm -hmm. yeah. Roll three, targeting the torso. All models on this target space are affected. Then discard this card. Oh, oh, five, six. Six targeting the torso is enough for a heavy wound. As long as I get not blanks, Correct. they're dead. One is dead. Yep. 
Two yeah. of them. Nice. Good job. Yes. I think so I so they I like zoop out of this thing. Uh-huh. Kind of like they they don't even see me come. Like I'm a Doctor Strange mist, type of thing. But yeah. I just like one hand just pops out of the mist. Roll it. The grenade rolls. They're just creatures, so they see something moving. They like a mouse or something. Look at they it. both like are reaching down to grab for it, and mm. then it just eviscerates. Do you still them. have a? Do you still have a move with that? Uh, after this? Yeah. Um, yeah. If you did move into there. And I, just oh, grab all those items. Yes, please, Shira. Holy cow! Two items are a bandage and a pile of coupons. Bandage and a pile of coupons. I will take. Uh, yeah. I can use this bandage next, next turn, turn to go ahead and, and uh, heal one of your wounds. Dress a wound. It's not yeah, a heal. It heal dress, okay. I got a lot of wounds. But you can put that bandage right directly in your items in your inventory. I could. I, I could also put something else in there, couldn't I? No, you can only put the things that you purchased in or that just came up into there. All right, I'll stick it in there. Yeah. Okay. One run, you, and you can't dress West's wound. Okay. So that helped me a lot. We're going to come out here. I like that my guy's pretty darn good at yeah. Is there a line things. over here? There is a line, yep. Okay, so I don't get that item unless I choose to walk around that way. One. Um, I think this way is shorter. Two. Three. It is shorter. Um, so we're going to go one, two, three. We see each other. Um, I need to defend against him. He's going to lunge at you. You're defending for five. Um, he gets an yep, the automatic token. Technically, do I get the success for my defense roll? Yeah. I don't think that's how it works. Why not? That's the action she's taking. She's prepared. I'm taking this action to move I mean, the three spaces. A, go for it. You read the rule book, so we can I, say that it's I not don't, how it works. I don't think that's how it works. Okay. I, I think well, it's designed specifically for your attack. We'll can say that have two blue dice? We'll say that it's not how it's worked, but we'll put the caveat that, that it could be. If you're, if you're doing a prepared action like that... I can, see, I can see that it could work. Um, and I think he has more than that damage, so I take a wound, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I needed... You have a fracture. a physical fracture. End of turn roll, you might gain immobilize. Lovely. Congratulations. Well, I still have one more move from this. Oh, he jumped to me. Hmm. Can I leave his spot, or does that trigger him again? You can leave his spot, but I believe if he's... So technically, if you move into a spot with them, it ends your movement and you have to deal with it. Okay. It doesn't say anything about leaving the spot and moving. So we're going to use that extra movement to get one more spot over there. Now we're going to shoot him. Okay. we didn't like him coming. You didn't want to shoot him like straight in the face then, huh? No, I wanted to be next to him because I'm trying to get in there to go touch that anomaly. But, yeah. Uh, all right. So we are going... I discarded one ammo. I need a blue die. I need two, two, two dark red... Um, I need an orange in here and two reds in there, and I need two red dice, please. I know where all the dice are right here. Um, choose a body part, rolling for the head. Um, I still have one advantage on the head, so I have one success. And you that definitely kill work. him. And your gun does not jam. Because your gun doesn't jam. How awesome is I that? I like a gun that doesn't jam. Yeah, that's okay, pretty cool. I'm drop an item over here, but I don't really care about it. Um, and so that was. Oh, I have another. I had another automatic success, and I'm going to take that movement to move in here. And now you are annoying, so we're going to. Oh. He's not going to see you though. He's going to move. He is going to move. Yeah. <laughs> I still have my smoke grenade I can throw, so he won't be able to target you in that space. Okay. I'm counting on you. One, two. I'm coming in here. Okay. Um, cool. Please... I feel like we're like storming a fort. Yeah. Please put two orange in that. Oh, one orange in that spot right now. Okay. I feel like some of us are storming a fort. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use the smoke grenade here with my last yes. action, uh, and I can place the smoke token on this target space and discard this card. This means that n you cannot be targeted in that zone. Okay. Well, I don't say it cannot be measured through that spot. Okay. Um, cool. What if he winds up in the zone, though? Can it doesn't see? matter. It's still, you, okay. there's no line of sight in that zone. All right. It's all foggy. You see a big beast yeah. stumbling around. You can around. hear him. He probably touches you, but so that's scary. all you got. All right. All right. That's, I think, all of our actions. That is all of our actions. I have an adrenaline shot still. Do you want to use it and do fun things? Um, can he use that space anomaly to end up at the fridge anomaly? No, no, because it only goes to the other space anomalies, I believe. I was hoping. You know, that would be cool to just teleport inside the middle. And yeah, for the record, it also doesn't trigger Overwatch. 
Oh, cool. I think I'm. I think I'm good where I am. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, let's Kay. trigger enemies. Enemy turn. So we're gonna start north. Uh, north and work our way down. So just the big guy. Big guy goes first. Three He's spots. gonna go three. One. To the most noise. Two. Well, does three? He's he doesn't going. stop to see you. West. He, he doesn't see. Oh, he can't see anything. He's sure. He's, he's going right out the door. Stuck. Yeah, he goes right out the door. And he sees nothing, so he's going to take up um, this red one goes away. Yep. And he's going to move one more. Yep. Which is going to be a straight line. He was facing this yep. so right in here. And he's going to roll to see where he faces. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he faces sideways. Uh, he doesn't. Stays facing the same. You can That's fire at him from behind. Oh. Yeah. Sideways, yeah. sideways would be nice, though. Actually, we have an advantage behind and sideways. Mm hmm Nice. He is in a, uh, a shielded area, though, I think. Mm, he is, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three is going to see nothing still. Why doesn't he go towards noise? He... There's so much noise down there. He would go to the there. loudest noise, yeah. There's a lot of noise down there. So he would there. hear this. He would head this direction. One, two, three. Sees doesn't nothing. see anything. Moves one more facing west. So back this way. He sees that there's nothing here. He's, does he see these noises or not? He he sees... You can only take away one. So he doesn't see the one behind him, but he would see this one, though. Okay. Okay. Those are only two enemies, I uh, This is going to trigger, though. Yep. 1A without Overwatch. So another little burble down there. That's the only enemies on this board right now. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start clearing tokens, West. if you want to look at the notebook and tell us where we are. Okay. So... Um, acid Rain. Yep, we resolve uh, radioactive rain. Each player in a space without cover gains three radiation. Ooh. So you might want to start taking your anti-rad pills. What does that do for you? One, two, three. I'm good. I'm healthy. Oh, you're still... <laughs> yeah, I feel good. Yeah, this is, this is... Healthy is maybe not the right word. Healthy, West. Hmm. You might want to take some anti-rad pills. And then we remove the noise, which you've done. And now we move on to the next section. Snorks get angry. Ooh. The snork tosses its head angrily and thrashes around, visibly irritated. I hear deep, furious growling like the other critters was, but uh, about to explode with fury. A snork is bad news. A furious snork is much worse. I must tread carefully. The rain is still pelting down, but the clouds up ahead seem to be thinning. Uh, the snorks get angry. Flip snork cards. I know. I was so excited to do oh, this. Oh, no. They were enraged. They move four. I'll tell you the differences. They move four. It takes eight to hit their head. Four to hit here. They still do five damage, and they still have a range of three. Um, their attack is still the same. I was just so excited to see them get enraged. I don't want them enraged. <laughs> it's a good thing I killed the two when I did. Yeah, it is for sure. Yeah. Good timing. Wow. All right. Um, so the question is, who's going to touch the butt? I think... Uh, she was really good at the butt touching. I do have this echo detector, which will help me touch the butt, and I have a bolts mm -hmm. and nuts. I think it would make sense if you could come deal with some enemies, West, and I go touch butts, or do you want to touch butts? I mean, I have this this awesome suit. How about you both go touch butts? And I have nuts and bolts as well. We could both do it. Yeah, that's true. Does it? Do they? Do they count together? Do they though? stack? That is a good so. question. Uh, I think it's one person doing it is the way that it's yeah. uh, that's designed. So I'll I'll work on shooting things. I no, guess. I, you're I, much better. Can at shooting I do my things. burst yeah. at the big guy? Yeah. Do you have enough ammo to do your burst? So I need to re I need to um, re up my ammo. Well, she's got plenty of ammo. Mm. Um, she does have plenty if of ammo. I step here, neither of them trigger Overwatch. Correct. That is correct. So I might do this. She's stepping out the door. Mm -hmm. Might use this movement to step out. Oh man! Um, <laughs> using a move from the smoke, just, just gun laying, like showing. stepping outside. Yep. It's awesome. So I used the smoke comes off, I believe. I'm using no, the a, smoke stays. So I'm using a movement to step out. I am gonna shoot at the snork first to use one of these up because why should I reload it when I already she had? She hears in her mind the butler that always used to stand next to the door that she would walk through. Mm -hmm. My lady. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. Um, I'm doing a single shot at him. I spend one ammo, place two, two reds and an orange in my spot. Um, I'm using this one for the automatic success. So I have, he's, I'm facing his back. I have three automatic successes at him right now. Yeah, you're clean. Dead. Oh, barely. Dead, two, dead, dead, four, dead. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's dead? Barely. That's her barely. That's ten. her barely? Ten. Yeah, wow. Barely. Oh, barely is an a item ten. drops here. Yep. Okay. Um, so that used this. I used the target to hit. I used the step to take out there. Now, 
Um, we've got... Does the smoke still stay there? You did the two noise, right? Okay, perfect. Um, smoke yes, the smoke, st smoke stays. But I can't see out of the smoke if I step <coughs> into it, right? Correct. Yeah, you can't target anything in or through. All right, so then we're going to use this to re-up my ammo. Um, discard this to put six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're taking three off. One, two, three. And we're flipping this, doing a burst. Spend three ammo. Place three red on my spot. You can't, because there's already three there. Three red. There, aren't there three red already on our spot? Um, there's Is, does red have a maximum, too? Yeah, yes, it has a max. three. So you can place two more. One more. One more. Okay. Uh, I can still do the action. Oh, yeah, even. absolutely. It's just the, the maximum, maximum amount of okay. noise you can make. Uh, roll four red dice. One, two, three, four red dice. And I may spread the hits between enemies in range. I'm doing them all at him. Really, you want to get his weak spot. Um, why? I'm behind him. Um, it just says, uh, because there's there's just charges start. on him or something, right? Uh, what is remove the red? Mm. Isn't that an Overwatch token? Yeah. Oh, yeah. gotcha, okay. Um, so, so hit his weak spot if you can. I can't choose where I'm aiming with mm. this burst. So you um, have to hit the torso then. Well, no, uh, if she hits seven, she hits the weak spot. Yeah. No, she has, she has, if she can't aim, she has to hit the torso. But it's six or... We also are familiar with a weak spot. Are we? Is that what the card says? Um, we know about a weak spot. This. Uh, like it said here, his left leg is much weaker. Um, during the mission, whenever you attack a student from the side, gain plus one. So yeah, it's not specific back? for the weak spot. There will be something for the other side if we hit the weak spot. But how does she hit the weak spot? You have to do a targeted attack. Is it worth me not doing a burst? If but the, this is the only action I have left. If the other one's a targeted, then sure. Yeah, it's way better if you do a targeted attack. I can't. I don't have that. Um, okay. No, so this works for any of them. It works for both, yeah. That'll work for both? Yeah. yeah. A long action also is, is a well, short if action. If I don't have to do... If I'm not trying to do a burst, then I'm not going to re-up my ammo. I still had one ammo there. Sure. Okay. I had one ammo... Um, I would have used this little doohickey to, instead of re-upping my ammo, I will use it to do a single shot. So spend one ammo. Okay. Two, one. Now I can target. Um, does he have a head? No. You want his weak, weak, weak spot. That's where you're going to attack. It's a seven. I choose a body part, but I just have an advantage on his head. Mm, so gotcha. I get to re-roll these dice. I don't have an automatic success, um, and I've got these. Dead. So four, five, six... Reroll both of those. That's it. Seven. Okay. Uh, Seven. He's don't forget he's got a plus one in that area. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have uh, Seven from his back. Seven from his but, back. But he's does also he that negates the, because he, get he gets the plus, the plus for being in there. Mm. Okay. That was that shot. Man. It could have been so cool. I mean I can still I can't. I can't. Can step back. I can't reload my. You ammo. can go ahead and use that your move to step back I into will the fog. Use, yep. When does that fog disappear? It doesn't. And then you could reload your ammo now. I can use this to reload. Yeah. Okay. So I'll use this to reload my ammo. Yep. So now I have six ammo for next turn. And I'll just hang out in the fog. He's absolutely going to be turning around, by the way. Yeah, but he can't. He can't see. He her. can't see me. I know, in the but fog. he's just, just going to be there. He's going to go back through the door. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go touch the. Body. No, he's not going. He's going to stop here. That's where the sound is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. He's going to go right there. Uh, I'm going to go touch the butt. <laughs> so Hopefully the die makes him turn one direction so I have his side. He's going to be in the room with you, actually. One. You'll see. Two. And then, uh, so two yellows right there. And then I'm going to step into this area. And one more yellow. And let's see what happens. This is going to be bad, I'm sure. You don't flip it yet, do you? Yeah. We gotta see what happens. Okay. So, the let's talk about what it says first. There is a bluish light vibrating in a steady pattern. The air is impossibly cold. Okay. And I pulled a blue, and a blue doesn't do anything. It's That's gorgeous. Nice. What does the yellow do, out of curiosity, over there? Uh, place three noise on this space. Because I have the thing that lets me treat yellow as blue. Okay, and now you're interacting with it? So the first thing I'm going to do is interact with blue? it, but oh, no, I don't know. It, it just activates it, shows up. I'm going to use my, where is the thing? I thought I had nuts and bolts. Yes, here, right here. 
Nuts and bolts is already there, so I'm using it. I'm going to activate it with three charges. That's going to let you discard a charge when you interact with it so that you can draw one extra. Correct. So I'm doing that. I'm going to draw two action. this turn. You had that big Doesn't action? Need to be I did, action. yes. I did to, to activate, activate it. it. It doesn't need to be to interact, though. Oh. Okay. Okay. So yellow and blue. Um, so keep the blue, I assume. I definitely want to keep the blue. You, yeah, because you said there's only one green. There is only one green. Okay. I'm going to, I have one more action left, so I'm going to use another nuts and bolts. No, use an action to move, use an action to activate nuts and bolts. That was your third action to interact with it. But didn't, doesn't nuts and bolts count as a thing? Um, explore anomaly. So it's still explore the anomaly. Okay, sure. But I activate it with this. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Can you do it again, even though you're using a little target? Yes, because yeah. you just activate this with that, and then every time you explore, you have the ability to use this token. Okay. And I got a blue and a... Green is what we need. Another blue it is. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so that is the end of my turn. Jesse. Uh, I haven't gone yet. I am in range of this guy. I can see him. He has no activation. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and reload my gun. He's not going to move because he has no art, right? Yes, and just want to be clear on one thing with the anomaly. Uh, these anomaly tokens are set to the side of the board, so they are as encounters for everyone. So I believe that is the way oh, cool. that they're intended. So this to uh, go ahead and um, prepare. I have to replace some items, so this needs to go. My ammo needs to pop in. Then I'm going to need to go ahead and reload my shotgun, which is going to discard this card. It's gonna go ahead and give me, you know, hogged all the stuff up there. for ammo. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a quick shot. So two ammo off, place two sound in my area. So it'll pop that up to three. You wanna do a quick shot, not a single shot? Yeah, 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 we're gonna be rolling. So could that guy have seen you, but you're not moving? He doesn't have an overwatch. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, he's he didn't just- come out with an overwatch. Yep, gotcha, um, I apologize. I'm rolling five, cause I'm one space away from him. And I can target between two body parts if I want, but really, I just want to, you yep, murder him straight up. My, my gun is very jammed. Very jammed, He's... but you murder him. No, not unless Yeah, I can target his head. I can target his head. Oh, you target? I can target body parts, yep. Nice. So that, that item is was straight up death. effective. What happened? Mm -hmm. my, yeah. You know how shotguns usually have, like, they splinter, they, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I accidentally loaded one that was just an iron slug. Oh. So the first one was like a scattered, and right. I was like, I was like, ah, we'll try again. Fired the second one, hit my shoulder, hurt a little bit actually, mm. but just an iron plug just went right through his nose. Fair. Just a hole right there. Do you want to go explore fair. some stuff? The hose up there? went through his face, and it's now just dangling out the back. That that yeah. works. Yep. Do you want to go explore some stuff up there? Now, I I've done everything I can do. I've got a free move, move, but uh, you know I'll step over here, and that's. It's my turn. All right. Okay. Uh, does that everybody's actions? Yep. All right. We're going to do the enemy uh, actions this turn. So this is the really only one. He's moving to this sound. Yep. So he's coming back here. Then he's moving one forward and deciding which way he's facing. Yep. Make sure you take off a red from there as well. He's, he's going to be facing straight, facing straight forward. But if you're in the space with him, does Doesn't that count? Because okay. the smoke is there. So I have to get out of it, and he has to be out of it. That's we correct. We can't actually target him right now. That is correct. Oh, that interesting. Is one of the negative things about it. Interesting. Yep. Could you target it with like a you could throw a, or something? Yes, a you could throw a grenade or something into that space. Um, and then he's I got think, because it doesn't back. matter. I could throw a grenade in here? Yeah. Oh, cool. Because he's... Do you have a grenade? I do have a grenade. I'd have to equip it. Um, no, I have a smoke no, grenade. No, I have a smoke grenade. Never okay. Mind. All right. So uh, the first things first, we're going to look through here. Um, are there any more unknown tokens on the board? I think we've hit them all, right? Yeah. All right, great. Uh, each player in a space without cover gains two radiation. Whoa, okay. <laughs> now we get to see what happens when you pass a threshold. Yeah, I'm gonna be rolling a red die. Roll a red die. If you get a skull, well, you're good. No, nope, good, you're perfect. Good. If you were to get a skull, good. he would get a wound of radiation. But why would I get a skull? I mean, yeah. Radiation wounds are uh, Remove all yellows and one red from each space, and then we will go to the next page. While you do that, I will read the cry of pain. Okay. I can already hear the roar of the incoming vehicles. Damn turbos are almost here. How much time do I have? Two minutes? One? Maybe? The walkie-talkie explodes as Yezov shilled cry of pain. Prof! I ask anxiously. You okay? What's going on out there? Professor? There's no reply. Sounds like Professor just got picked up by the bad dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye, Professor. I have a feeling we have to go maybe... 
like really fast. save him later? Oh, maybe. It's possible. All right, what are we doing now? Let's start with Wes to see if we can get this solved, and yeah. then I can go to see if this is an exit over here for you guys to escape through. I'm good so, keeping the, the guy company. I'm going to use my last nuts and bolts and hope for the best. His name is Lee, right? Yeah. I'm becoming friends with Lee. Oh, what a good guy. Yeah. Okay, uh, here we go. Let's see what I got. Another blue and yellow. Boy, that yellow just shows up, doesn't it? Blue is what you need, though. Now all yep. you need is the green, so... <sighs> But I only get to draw one this turn. Disappointing. Okay. You could reactivate this, couldn't you? No, it's, it's done. Discard, it's, um... Place it in the backpack now, so I can't use it again. Gotcha. I assume. Does it say place in backpack? So it says place, place the card, card in your backpack. Okay. So. I assume that means you can take it out again next turn. That's but... what I would think. I could then use a prepare action, right? Bring yeah. it back out. And, and then, then use my big action and seems reactivate like a, it. Seems like a better go than just drawing one at a time. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Those other two and put one more on this nuts and bolts if you don't mind. Okay. Okay, drawing two. Both yellow. Wow. Place three noise in my space. And that is the end of my action. We're sure green's in there? Yeah, green is definitely in there. Okay. So one of these yellow stays okay. out on the board. Sure, you mind if I check to see if this is an exit for us? Sure. So I'm going to be stepping forward over here, grabbing an item west. Okay. And a huge bent aluminum sheet, possibly a perfect cover for a tunnel exit. Move the sheet, reveal this card. Go through the tunnel, place your character on a space with an exclamation mark. When you enter the warehouse, take uh, and resolve warehouse entrance. Uh, okay, this was a little bit higher up than it should have been, but that's okay. It should have been right here. I'm still in the correct space, though. Okay. So we now have a... So you can go through that tunnel and then go right into that exclamation place. Oh. Yeah, yeah so... Um, Come on in. Touch butts. Bloop. So from here, yep. I can go to here. Correct. Then... Does that take an action? It does. It takes a little dot doohickey. You see? Uh, yeah, but... Um, did you? It was one movement to get to there. Yeah. So I okay. still had a dot. So. Yeah. So you still had a dot. So that what you did? What you did? Perfect. When you enter the warehouse, immediately take and resolve the warehouse entrance card. Which we've already done. Okay. Yeah. So I, we've mm -hmm. got we've got mm -hmm. an escape now. We just need you to grab the green, and we need sure to be free from this guy. <laughs> How about you run in there and try to grab the green because you can do the same thing I can do without your nuts and bolts. Because um, if you can get there, so okay. So the big guy will let me move three. Yep. So one, two, three. Then this little guy will let me interact. Yep. Bag. Let's see right. if we can grab this. And I'm like, amateurs. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. oh. So you can gain another blue, and it doesn't hurt you. Or the red. Red would uh, put a lot of noise in our space. Sure. Okay. Let's not do that. Why? I want the anomaly to move. Um, sure, it could go try to grab it, too, honestly. I could. I, could leave. I mean, right now, he is coming to our space. So it is what it is. All right. So one. Two, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. <laughs> We're all touching the butt. We are all touching the butt. Um. So what'd you use to move there? Her big guy action, right? Yeah. Um. It's either that or two little ones. It could be one, two, one, two, and then I'm gonna use this third movement, and then I'm gonna use this action to prepare because sure. I need to put the nuts and bolts inside my bag and take out the decoy. Okay. And so then I'll use my big guy to activate the nuts, the nuts and, bolts. and bolts and to draw one. Yep. So the nuts Perfect. and bolts come out. Um, the decoy is there, and now all of these are gone. And uh, don't draw a red Shira as the only <laughs> option. Okay. Thanks, guys. Just not that. Anything other than that. Thanks, guys. Uh huh. Green! Green! Yay! Perfect. Grab it. So gain the snowflake artifact card, flip objective E44A, and take card E43A and resolve it. Here is your snowflake Mishira. So use the artifact, gain special radiation, gain specified radiation levels, choose an enemy in range two, gains immobilize. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Shira, you could go ahead and use this immediately, gain four radiation, and this big guy doesn't move. He's not range of two though. She could move one out of the way. If she moves one down to here, that would be range of two, and yeah. we could immobilize him. Yep. My cap. I'm putting it into play right now. So step mm -hmm. over with your last movement action that you had. With this. Yep. Does it have to? Does it say line of sight? Choose enemy in range two, and it gains immobilize. Perfect. So it doesn't have to be line of sight. Yeah. Just says range. Not okay. Gain four radiation. 
Oh. Mm, don't like the radiation. I'm not just gonna go about it. One, two, three, four. We don't necessarily have to kill him. I get to roll a red die. Is is the snowflake an instant action? Or it is. is it? Yeah. Okay, it's... perfect. Yay! No radiation sickness. There we go. Okay, okay, perfect. Now we just have to escape, guys. And how do we escape? Story update. We go... Oh, we have to... I gave you a card. E438, yeah. this card. Yeah. That should probably Flip give this us... card and place this on the map as indicated. Probably gives us some information. Um, get the, the heck hell. out. Remove your stalker from the map. When there are no more stalkers on the map, the campaign book Where goes go? to... And this... Where's our exit? ...is in that top corner up there, it looks like. Um, not... Not quite. I'm looking... We got a tile of four. Yep. You're holding it goes upside down right into, now? Ah, so bottom corner. So bottom <laughs> corner there. Okay. So it's right here. It's this. It's here. It's this. No, is it? It's this. The artwork wow. always matches up. Okay. So we got to get back around. We got to go through him. Okay. The good news is he's not going to move. So um, enemies take their turn. Currently there's only one. He's going to lose his pinned. And now he's free to move. He gains an overwatch. He has an overwatch already on him. Yeah, so he's not going to see anything anyway because he's in line of sight. So that's the beautiful thing about what we've done there. Okay. And now we just uh, are going to do end of turn actions. Uh, radioactive rain. We're all inside, so we're good. What was that? Remove all the sound. Uh, it, the same as normal, so one red yeah, from your space. Take off all these oranges from up there. Yep. And then I think all those reds up at the top. Yeah, are being that, gone that's too. fine. All right, last part here. Uh, almost too late. The engines howl and the brakes screech. The mud splashes as the turbos jump out of their vehicles, yelling and cursing. They're almost here, running to the warehouse. It's gonna get nasty any second now. It is my last moment to split. And what in the name of the zone is happening to the prof? The radio is dead. I have to get him, but the artifact first. Yaws of second. So we already got our artifact, so we're good. I can't get to the exit from uh, from here. Yeah. Um, I can with adrenaline. I can't. But I, don't think I all definitely of us can. cannot. I'm not even close. Because I can move a total of six spaces. Okay, so if if one of you allows me to move get near one, you. Two, three. I can move you an four, extra space. Five, six. I can get I can move a total of four, five, six. I can move eight spaces. So don't give it to me. Okay. Because I think I can get out of here. I can trade you an uh, four, adrenaline shot. Two. West. Three, if you can move me an extra space, I think I can four, get out. You are the only five, one who can use the six, adrenaline shot. Oh, seven, really? Seven, yeah. eight. I can get out. All right. So what's the fastest way? I'm one, two, three, four, five, six. Literally gets me there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six gets me to here. So. That's my best option. That's as far as I can get. Okay, sure. So, but someone six would also get you around here. But that's radiation extra, and this is where we need to get. The problem with him not moving is we also can't kill him. Do we need to kill him? I was going to try. Um, okay, okay, so let's go ahead and start. So I'm gonna move two spaces. One, two. Um, if someone wants to come to me, I can uh, make them move one extra space. Do I want to make him not move again and get really sick? Um, Wait, I shouldn't be in that spot because I used my extra last movement to take a step out, right? So that I can well, be that within range Well, that was probably Jesse two. moved you out by accident. There we go. Sorry. Everyone else should be in there. Um, okay. Yeah, immobilize him again. Do it's I? helpful. Yeah. Okay, I get very sick with this. One, two, three... Oh. I'm gonna roll a red, roll see if you get rid of sickness. But it means that West will be able to escape as long as the bad guys don't show up and kill okay. us immediately. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go one, two, West, you can push me. Yep. So three. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna use my big action for a movement of one, two, three, then my small action for a movement of one, two, and I'm out. Awesome. Okay. I'm moving I'm using my big action to move four. One, two, three, four. My little action to move two. One, two. My second little action to move two. And she's out. West, how far can you go? I can move four spaces. One, two, 
Three and four. He's not moving, He's so not moving. it just comes down to the story. Let's see. Yep. All right. So really close right now, though. Uh, we would normally remove all the sound. My heart is pounding. I'm running from my life. The trees. I must reach the tree line later. I'll figure out where I screwed up and uh, if there actually is a later. Um, so I will now get out. Bloop, bloop. That was probably the last. That was the last cycle, I think. That. Uh, let's see. Let's check. End of turn. At least I got something out of it. If you have the snowflake artifact, move to page 54. That was the last cycle. That was the last cycle. It was the very last moment we could have got out. Yep. Wow. Wait, what's, uh, where's our ending? Uh, so 54. Yeah, the artifact uh, moved to page 54. 52, no. When there are no more stalkers on the map, go to campaign to book 52. Oh, nice. Of course, if okay. we die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to die. 52. I want to read. That's right. It, if you have this, no. That's only if we got to the end of turn. We got here before we got there. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, 52. 52. Nice. So there's multiple endings, too. Yeah, that's cool. The winner takes it all. The snork lifts his bloody muzzle and stares at me, growling furiously, too full to attack. Go away, you bastard. I whispered and lift the weapon as if to shoot. The snork gets the message, it turns away sluggishly and disappears into the undergrowth. And I kneel at the professor's body. I see the white of his ribs protruding from his rent torso. He must have got surprised by a snork as he was keeping watch. Poor fella. I was actually beginning to like him. Under different circumstances, I would bury his body and all that. But, you know, the zone. <laughs> I got your artifact, Prof, I whisper, but you probably don't need it anymore. You don't mind me keeping it, do you? Then I notice the signet on his bloody, dirty index finger. I stare at the symbol for a while. I will do what Yezov asked me to. I'm going to keep the signet and bring it to the Azure swimming pool in Pripyat. Then I will get rewarded. Thanks, Prof. Rules. Mission success. Go to page 56. Another time. The fire is crackling quietly. I feel the weight of their eyes. I know what they want to know. I watch the signet for a while, its flat surface, with the unusual symbol flashing. And I did what I was supposed to do, I say finally. I took the artifact to Pripyat. I found the Azure swimming pool, showed the signet. Do you want to know what happened? I can see it in their eyes. Sure you do, I say. How about we leave it for another night, eh? <laughs> Rules. Place stickers 6, 7, 10, 11 in the correct location on the map of the zone. There are new locations which become available for you to explore. Congratulations, you have finished the demo. So this is where the story opens up. Yep. Begins expanding. Nice. That was that was a good, a good session. Yeah. Ran smoother than the first one, too. So oh, we yeah. have, over on Patreon, if you're interested, we have the first gameplay session. It's a learning session for us. We're double-checking rules. You know, we check the rule book after yep. we played as well to... Try to get everything as accurate as possible, and this played this played a lot more cleanly, a lot more smoothly than that first session that we ran. For sure, and of course, prototype all that kind yeah, of jazz yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this was this was fun. Cool. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was a good look at uh, the game, and you enjoyed uh, hanging out with us. Absolutely. Whatever the case, whatever what? you do, remember to do the important thing. Don't get stalked. Yeah. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.